So now we're going to test this newly built unit for um, 20 kilowatt operation. This is a new design by uh, Electric Motor Works. It's a PFC Direct 20 kilowatt unit. Um, it operates on the battery voltage above about 310 volts nominal. And the CV voltage of the battery should be above about 340 volts. And then it operates from um, either 110 volt uh, outlet uh, or 240 volt outlet and pumps up to 20 kilowatt into the battery. So we've hooked it up now to the battery that is 310, 311 volt nominal. And it's got the CV point of 336 volts. So we're gonna start charging it. Now let's set up the power here. This is a uh, familiar interface for those uh, who used our um, 12 kilowatt charging system, the standard system that we sell on our uh, website and that we've designed fully open source. So we are using the same interface to program the power. So let's see if we are at 336 volts outputs, uh, 20 kilowatt will be about 60 amps going into the battery. So let's, let's do that. Let's program 60 amps here. Six, zero. So 60 amps on the output. And let's connect the battery now. So let's see what happens. So we're now at 322 output voltage at about 42 amps and rising. So this should ramp up to 60 amps output. This is output voltage, folks. The duty cycle means slightly different thing compared to the uh, previous version of the charger. Uh, the uh, control circuitry inside is completely different uh, from the previous version, so uh, the meaning of the duty cycle is different. The uh, two temperature readings that you have there uh, mean different things as well. So the first one, which reads 27C right now, is the heatsink temperature, and the second one is the inductor temperature. So um, as I mentioned in uh, one of the uh, posts on the DIY electric car recently, we are thermally limited uh, in this design by the inductor temperature and capacitor temperature. So we've decided to fit um, the inductor with a separate uh, thermistor so that we can derate uh, the output of the charger as it nears the limit. The limit for the uh, heatsink temperature is still 55 C. So the charger starts derating at 55 C uh, heatsink temperature. Uh, the limit for the inductor temperature is 85 C. So the charger will start derating at 85 C or higher. This doesn't mean that the charger stops outputting. It just reduces the output power. So right now you can see that we are around 60 amps output and around 330 volt output. So we're already at 20 kilowatts. The um, incoming AC um, current is about uh, 85 amps or so. And we can actually take a look at this a little bit later. You can see that we just two minutes in and we got two amp hours into our battery, our high voltage battery. That's pretty impressive. So let's uh, let it run for a while and see how it does. So um, just six minutes into um, the run, uh, the charger actually switched into the um, CV mode. So uh, we started at about 65% um, uh, state of charge on the battery. And six amp hours later, we crossed 336 volts on the charger output. Uh, this is partially a, um, a consequence of uh, longer 
lines from the charger to the battery um, in the lab here. That's about 30 feet uh, off uh, gauge six wire going into the battery. So there's a couple of volts at 60 amps that are getting lost there. Um, so that prevented us from uh, testing it for a longer period of time at 20 kilowatts, but now it's at 50-ish uh, amps uh, at 330, so that's still uh, 16, 17 kilowatts going out now. Um, you see that the temperature of the heat sink is 40 C. The uh, inductor temperature is between 50 and 55. Um, the measurement uh, is taken on top of the uh, coil, so it should be a good representation of the temperature of the inductor, but um, obviously no measurement is 100% uh, precise. So happily chugging along uh, at this rate. Let's uh, give it a few more minutes. 15 minutes in or so, uh, we are actually seeing reducing heat sink temperature to 39C. It used to be 40C just a few minutes ago. The inductor temperature is continuing to rise, but uh, nothing alarming at 59C, a long way to go before 85C. The uh, current started ramping down a bit but it's still around 50 amps uh, on the 330 volt output, so still around 17 kilowatts going into the battery. And at 14 minutes, we pumped 12.5 amp hours into the battery. Okay, checking in again. Uh, 25 minutes in, 20 amp hours in. Heatsink temperature dropped one more degree Celsius, uh, 38. Uh, inductor seemed to have stabilized at 62C. And the current is gradually going down, so it's now around 43, 44 amps uh, into 334 volts uh, output, so that's about 15 kilowatts. Well, we're close to an end now. Nothing impressive on the screen there. 7 amps, uh, 334 volts, about 2 kilowatts. Um, heat sink at ambient, pretty much, 25C. The inductor is still at 40C, but slowly cooling down. It's a big mass of uh, iron there, uh, slowly cooling down. 33 amp hours or so into the battery in 50 minutes. So I think we're going to stop it here. And we're done at 32 amp hours in.